the spoilers, by the way, huge everywhere spoilers. Uh, they had some old people locked up in there. <laughs> There's a goblin. What was his name? Uh, Willow. Some guy who was obsessed with wands. I thought they called him Mr. Orlando. <laughs> That's a very unwizard name. I'm sure they brought them there. I feel like they found one and were like, here, let's stuff him in the closet. We'll be back. We gotta go get Orlando. I was really wrong about what Dobby was. Sorry. <laughs> That Dobby was an elf and he died free. <laughs> I would guess Voldemort beat the crap out of him. Maybe that snake killed him? Death by noselessness. <laughs> they buried him in the sand, which is not a good idea because when you bury things in the sand, they will wash up very quickly. Some kid is going to find that. It's going to ruin <laughs> their day. You've got the wand, mm -hmm. the whoops ass, the whoop ass wand, the invisibility cloak of cloaking. It's a cloaking cloak, if you will. The uh, resurrection stone. Rock. Um, Why are they important? Well, they all give you fucking superpowers, <laughs> so that helps. No, we said something about when you've, you've got them all, it makes you just the best wizard. <laughs> I better take all of my soul power and take it out of me and hide it elsewhere, which doesn't seem wise because then you yourself are without soul power should you ever lose these horcruxes, which obviously he did in a very rapid fashion. This movie is just them being like, there's a Horcrux there, broken. There's a Horcrux there, broken. Do you know how many he had total? Like, I couldn't, I don't know, a dozen. <laughs> Hermione is mm -hmm. uh, disguised because she's got one of Helena Bonham Carter's pubic hairs. And they, they, uh, they roofie a guard. <laughs> they roofie a bank guard. And then they get in the vault, and Harry's like, I've brought this sword to destroy that, and also to get it off the top shelf. The guards are firing their wands like weapons, so I guess there are people who are wizards who still end up with boring jobs. Yes, this is what I wanted to learn all this stuff for. Security detail <laughs> at a bank full of goblins. <laughs> Hot. It seems like there's somewhere between a gun and a lightsaber. <laughs> and also flashlights. I can't imagine how well this was described in the book. And it's not like they can say bang bang, it's just like poof poof. Yeah. There's the girl in the portrait. That's Dumbledore's, and also Dumbledore's brother's sister. Uh, she's probably dead, and also part of a picture for some reason. Go, let's just wedge your soul into this oil. Put it up in a frame, nothing weird about that. Um, uh, Harry Potter's been looking through a broken shard of a mirror, and it's been looking out into Dumbledore's brother's house. I wouldn't want to watch that for long. And then, your homeboy Longbottom, <laughs> yeah. Neville. Walks through the tunnel painting, and Neville Longbottom is the best character because he's doofy but brave, and then becomes attractive and brave. And then they sneak him back into the castle. Despite it being a covert operation, they cheer when he gets there. And they're like, oh yeah, Snape knows you're here, because you walked in and everyone started screaming. <laughs> and then all those people come through the door, right? I who said, are those I said people who come that, through? Well, I call them the Wrecking Crew. Would that be Dumbledore's army? Is it an order? Yes. Of the Phoenix? Yeah. So okay. Rising up from death. They didn't show up to the assembly, so. <laughs> and the crazy guy with a cat runs in. <laughs> he has no powers. He's like a retarded janitor <laughs> at a school of standard people. But this is wizards and he's just an... I don't think he's even the standard person. <laughs> He'd be a retarded janitor out here. And now he's working with wizards? That's cruel. They're like, take these kids and put them in the dungeon. This is a school. Why do you have a dungeon? Why do people keep getting put in that house if everyone always hates them? <laughs> is it just like, this class here is a particularly bad one for that house? And he talks to the ghost. And Ravenclaw something. She gives him some riddle because that's how ghosts... Off. So it's in the uh, it's in the storage closet. <laughs> storage for chairs, as far as I can tell. I watched Sorcerer's Apprentice, so I feel like a school full of wizards could probably be like, chairs, stack. Neatly. Well, he goes in there, it calls to him, because whatever. I mean, not because whatever, but because he is part Horcrux yeah, himself. What? They can feel probably each other calling, but they're all inanimate objects and a snake. <laughs> Ron and Hermione, she gets a uh, basilisk tooth so that they can break the uh, the cup Horcrux. There's a lot of uh, sexual imagery when this happens. Some stabbing motions, a lot of wetness, and then just straight up making out. Is that the order that things normally progress in? No. Oh. <laughs> well, these are wizards. <laughs> and they do not abide by our rules. Draco shows up uh, aggressively blonde. A fire breaks out because someone uses fiendish flame or uh, unfriendly engulfation. You called it a reptile overload. Because the one henchman was like, uh, I can't get this wand to stop <laughs> spilling all this stuff out of it. Uh, uh. 
And he starts the room on fire. And Voldemort calls Snape down there. He smacks him with a wand, and then the snake kills him. So really, the wand should belong to the snake, but he doesn't have arms. Or maybe that cancels it out, or because the snake is a horcrux to Voldemort, it counts. Although I guess if that was the case, then it belonging to Harry would mean it belonged to Voldemort. I'm not too worried about it. What's his name? Luscious? And I'm not sure why Voldemort went to the boathouse to talk to him. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, like, how well-known wizards are in the world, because there's two little girls in a field, and one of them is like, oh, I'm gonna turn this flower into... It's gonna do magic stuff. And the one's like, ew, you're a freak, instead of being like, what the fuck? And like, freaking out and leaving. Snape is there as a little boy, and he looks like, like a lost McCulkin. <laughs> oh, I came here to kill a baby, but now I can't, because my soul is kind of in it a bit, and that's protecting me. I'll deal with this later. He sees his buddies, he's like, I'm out of here. And they're like, why? And he's like, oh, you know. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're right, we do. On the way out, he, he unwraps his little, little golden rock. A robotic scarab eye apple. It's his mom and his dad and um, crazy Gary Oldman show up. Oh, we believe in you. We never left. Nothing helpful. He's like, thanks, guys. I will always believe in the spirit. I'm gonna. I have to go die. Do you guys know that? I'm going to go <laughs> die right now. And they're like, yeah, we already died actually. So we're we you get no sympathy from us. One guy said dying was as quick as falling asleep. <laughs> What? I imagine like a lot of people who had insomnia reading that like, oh, that sounds hard. <laughs> Harry wakes up in a whited out train station. This is the first point at which I noticed that wizards wear jeans. It's this whole like Neo and the architect thing. This is all in your head, but it's also real. And Harry Potter's like, all right, I guess I'll wake up now. Draco's mom comes over and checks his pulse and is like, this guy's alive. This guy's dead. And Voldemort is all over. It sounds like he's straight up saying abracadabra. A bunch. But it sounds more about. violent, so maybe he's just saying Zephyr Cadabra. Harry Potter can speak snake because he's uh, he's 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 Horcrux and so is the snake, which means Harry Potter can also speak Tierra. Honey, honey, no. <laughs> She's gonna murder me. <laughs> the old woman, uh, she do you remember what she said or remember she killed Bellatrix? Uh she called her a bitch, which I don't think wizards should be saying. <laughs> so um, who is she? A mother of someone. Listen, it's not like they actually look like each other, so I can't be like, oh, she has the, she looks like... <laughs> Is that like the only redheads One. in the entire... Yeah. Listen, I'm not racist. I don't assume that everyone who's redheaded... But but they related. are. Weasley? How many Weasleys <laughs> are there? Crazy. No, I saw like a dozen redheaded kids are running around that school. Harry Potter's like, oh, this wand is the most powerful wand in the world. And then he throws it off a bridge. Too much power for one man, or whatever. He could have used this wand to help clean the place up. Because that janitor is out there pushing boulders with a broom. He's got no magic. He just has a cat mocking him. <laughs> there were scenes of, oh, this person is dead and that's sad. And Wait, this person is dead and that's sad. Oh, this person who had a name is dead and that's really sad. Are they professors, maybe? I don't know. Or just really old looking students. <laughs> uh, I think one of them twins died. They appeared quite redheaded. One of the Weasleys died. At I think, least one. Maybe a bunch of others. I don't know. Just about, is this the only wizard school in the world? Uh, or maybe they're all over the world. They're all having these horrible Voldemorty problems. Yeah, what happened at your school this year? Oh, a giant snake tried to kill us. Oh yeah, we got an evil wizard with no nose. We find out that Harry Potter named his kid after Dumbledore and Snape. And it's like, oh, you're going to get made fun of for that name, buddy. <laughs> like the entire school is on board. Like whether the teachers are on board or whether they live there. Whether the conductor is also a wizard or whether he's just some poor dude who has to deal with a train full of magic adolescents and their pets. The end. And when's the janitor gonna clean that basilisk up from the basement?